Hi, welcome back to another Game Guru tutorial. This one's going to look at the widget icon. I have opened a multiplayer game called Camp Oasis. I'm going to scroll down using the mouse wheel so I'm close in on the level. And what I want to do is I want to select this item here. I'm going to left click and you see this widget appear. And clicking in the different areas of the widget does different things. So if I click on this green area, I can reposition the object. If I click on the red axis, it just moves in that direction. The same for the blue. And then if you get at the right angle, you can do the same for the green axis. Now, the object is floating above the floor now. And in many cases, you want objects to be flat on the ground. So a real good tip is to press the enter key on the keyboard and the object will find the floor no matter where it is. So that's positioning. Now we can rotate the object. Click on rotate and we get these circles and if we rotate the circle we rotate the object. Really easy. We can also do it in the different axes like so. We've also got scale so we can make the object scale to different sizes along the uh, axis as well, like so. And then you've got a global scale in the middle. There we are. We also have properties. So if we click properties, we zoom in on the object. And the properties for this object are displayed on the left hand side. We won't go into all the details right now. We'll do that in a later tutorial. So this object can also be extracted. It's picked up by the cursor and I can left click and left click it into different places like so. I can also, while I'm holding it, press R to rotate it and you've still got the fine movements as well. And when you want to remove it from the cursor, just press right click. You can use the widget to delete objects. Another feature of the widget is to lock objects. So let's take this table. We don't want to move it around anymore. We don't want to keep selecting it. So we can click lock. Now the widget will not appear for that object. So items placed on top of the table can be moved around and you won't keep reselecting the table. If you want to unlock the object, press shift and click and then the table can be moved again. It's that simple. 